Thank you so much for the introduction. And please, guys, please do not mind my iPad. Uski is so important to me. I wanted to make sure that I'm not leaving anything out. So not only as a Manhattan resident, I want to support Lucy for so many reasons. And I'll read them to you, so excuse me if I look down a little bit. Um, but on July 4th, 2016, that is the day that changed my life forever. Thankfully, I have families nationally who are police killing victims, mothers of victims and families. NYPD officer Wayne Isaacs murdered my brother. He murdered Delron by shooting him three times in front of his four month old baby, teenage stepdaughter and girlfriend. NYPD officer Isaacs is still employed with NYPD and he's being paid with our taxpayer dollars. It's been nearly five years. I'm still fighting for accountability, not justice, because I have a literal justice who was two years old and I named him an honor of my brother, who is my hero. All Black Lives Matter, absolutely, with no question or any consent. To make sure our point and demands are clear, the right leaders have to be voted in. Ones with interest of the people. And that's why I'm so proud to support Lucy Lang for Manhattan DA. I was proud to work with Lucy to help her build her bold plan for police accountability, as she is supportive of activists like myself in the fight to defund the police and allocate funds where they belong, such as education, social work, and support for victims of sex crimes. Lucy has supported all of my endeavors and uh, has provided mentorship to me. We work together to create a national toolkit for prosecutors to address officer-involved fatalities. When Lucy was leading the Institute for Innovations and, and Prosecution, Lucy's plan to transform the power dynamic of policing in Manhattan includes everything from independently investigating policemen misconduct to identifying officers as the DA partners with grassroots community-led groups to interrupt violence and over-policing. Lucy's plan was built alongside the communities that are impacted most. It's, it's true for her policing plan, and it's certainly true for her plan to build a sex crimes unit that puts survivors first. That's, the, that's exactly the type of leadership we need in a DA's office. Lucy built her sex crimes plan in partnership and alongside survivors of sex crimes like myself and survivors of high, high, Harvey Weinstein, I'm sorry, of Harvey Weinstein, sexual, sexual abuse victims who have also endorsed her candidacy. I wanted to just explain a little bit about myself uh, on a personal level and why her work with sex crimes victims are important. I lived with an adopted family after my mom died uh, when I was nine and my mom was only 29. And throughout that time that we lived with this adopted family and navigated the, and prior to that navigated the foster care system, I went through a lot of sexual abuse and it forced me to find power in it by healing and helping other victims. And it was just so empowering to hear that Lucy holds that. And uh, Lucy and I have had conversations about a whole lot of things and she, she's always very opening to listening. And I know that those conversations are so hard to hear especially from the a victim themselves. And she's heard those stories numerous times, but not only as, as a victim, but she sees me as a friend, not just Dalron's small sister. Um, she's never introduced me as Dalron's sister. She introduces me as her friend, but I see Lucy as my mentor. And that's how I introduce Lucy. And Lucy inspires me. 
to one day become a prosecutor. I encourage everyone to read Lucy's plan and you'll see that it was built to put survivors first. And Lucy will hold all those who commit sex crimes accountable, no matter how wealthy or how powerful or how connected they may be. But it's more than just her smart approach to policy. It's the fact that Lucy doesn't just listen, she truly hears people. And I feel that Lucy truly hears me. So Lucy, I'm Victoria Davis. I'm a mother, I'm a civil servant, I'm a student, I'm a small business owner. It sounds simple, but those qualities are very rare when we're speaking of people in politics. I'm proud to stand with Lucy and I know Lucy stands with me. And with every New Yorker that has been impacted by the system in various ways, I ask that you stand with Lucy as Lucy will stand for us. And like Jarrell stated, we do need a woman in office and, and we need Lucy in office and we'll see the change in Manhattan and we'll just see the change overall. So thank you so much, Lucy. And you got this. And you know, I'm a dramatic, so I'm just standing up. <laughs> I'm just standing up because I definitely want to give you um, all of the credit that you deserve. And I just want to say thank you.